Hey guys, it's Sylvia. This is the look that I'm creating tonight. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. And don't forget to like my video if you liked it. And have a great night or day or whenever you're watching this. Here I will be using the One Drop Wonder by Lime Life by Alcone. And all it is is one ingredient, which is palmitoyer oil. It is a booster and it is great for all skin types. I love using it on my cheeks for to help with the redness and the rosacea. Here now I'm using our skin therapy and it is pomegranate and oaks. It's our face moisturizer and I have dry skin so of course I'm gonna use this one. It's for normal to dry skin. I just wanna apologize for my husband. He is hilarious. <laughs> And now I'm going to use our first base primer. It is ultra fine and an oil free mist. And now I'm using an eyebrow stencil because uh, your girl can't do her eyebrows without it. <laughs> and I'm grabbing the color Browning Points from our Fairy Neutral palette. And I'm using the number 8 brush to kind of dab it on. Now here I am grabbing our number 6 brush and I am putting it inside our waterproof number 3 concealer to kind of fix my brow up a bit here. Now I'm grabbing our 2-in-1 number 14 brush. It has the angled liner tip on one end and the spoolie on the other. Now I'm still trying to fix my brows and it takes some time so I apologize if I skip ahead. And now I'm going to apply some foundation, our Shinto 2. It is paraben free and the perfect foundation. It's wax based so it literally just sits right on top of your face. And I absolutely love it. It is 50% pigmented and it is truly the best foundation I have ever used. A little bit a second ago, I wet my blender full. And I prefer doing it that way because it makes the application easier. I prefer to dab my foundation on. And I am going to skip a lot of the process because it takes me a while to do that. And here's what it looks like now. It just gets rid of a lot of that redness and the imperfections and it's just amazing. Now I'm applying some um, concealer I believe to kind of cover my eyebrows so I can do the sunflower look. Now I also use the uh, waterproof concealer in number one to kind of, you know, give me that base instead of having to use like an eye primer this concealer kind of works as a very versatile thing and i love it it makes my shadow apply much easier and just gives you a very clean slate and now i'm gonna apply some foundation just to give me that neutral base so I just grabbed the number 10 brush and dipped it into brownie points to give me that dark look that she has on her eye. And I realized that the blending brush is not the brush to go to. So I picked up the number 7 brush, which is the all over lid powder brush. And as you can see, I made a great choice by changing it to the all over powder brush. It gives me that dark color that I'm looking for and not that light brown color. Remember that it's going to look ugly before it looks good, and we're at that stage here. So now I'm picking up some concealer to kind of give me that clean slate and to be a primer for my glitter as well. 
I picked up the number 12 concealer brush and am applying number 1 concealer. But we're doing a dance break because I screwed up and put lip gloss as a base when I should have just used the concealer. So now I'm applying the glitter over the concealer and it looks better than what I did before. And now I just grabbed our perfect eyeliner pin and am drawing on the sunflower leaves. As you can see, I am detailing and it's going to take a very long time, so I'm most likely going to skip a lot of it, so just keep up with me and bear with me. So I messed up and I grabbed our makeoff wipe and kind of wiped off the parts that I messed up, and now I am redoing everything I messed up. So now I'm just kind of drying that a bit and I'm going to apply that concealer one over my brow again. And after that, I am going to be applying foundation to kind of give take away that redness that I have on my cheek. And again, go over with the black eyeliner pin to detail some more and to fix my mistakes. Now that I am almost done fixing the sunflower, I'm about to go in with some color. Now I'm going to go in with some yellow. At first I tried to put setting spray to kind of help the color go on easier, but I just found it easier to just go in straight with the yellow from BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and that's just me applying it to the tips of the sunflower and again i'm just going to grab some eyeliner to kind of outline the sunflower more and fill in where i missed i'm also now grabbing the orange from the bh cosmetics and going in with that all over and this is what it looks like And now I'm grabbing brownie points and kind of filling in the middle part of the sunflower. I'm using the number 8 brush and I made the mistake by overfilling and not looking at the picture. I'm going in with some white grease paint because I didn't have um, a white eyeliner so that's what that is. And now I'm drawing on the leaves as well as putting some green grease paint down to kind of fill in and give me a base for the shadow that I'm gonna put on top of it. And I'm outlining the leaf. And now I am outlining the sunflower part. And just darkening up those sunflowers so they can really pop out and as you can see, it definitely makes it pop and it looks brighter and more vibrant once I have added that black. And now I am just retouching with that yellow and I'll go back in for the orange. And I made a mistake so I removed some again and I'm just redrawing it. It's just a lot of tedious work. I just went in with the color switcher so I can switch it from the orange back to the yellow. And I'm just going in back with the white grease paint. Finally, we're at the lips. Now I'm going to go in with some devil food and then after I've lined my lips with devil food, I go on top with cherry pie. And I guess I switched over back to doing the leaf because I forgot about it. I'm just going to apply some of that darker green that's in the Back to Brazil palette to kind of darken up that leaf color. And once it's all darkened up, I'll go in with some white grease paint to give it those leafy detailing. And of course, it's not a true video unless my lighting goes out. So 
Um, now I'm just working on the underneath of my eye on the other eye to kind of make it look better. And now I'm applying some blush and then I'm going to go in with some bronzer. Excuse my uh, crazy lips. <laughs> And now what I'm using to line my lips now with the black lines is finishing spray and black eyeshadow in the color Dial It Black. And now that I've done it over my lips, now I'm going to do that like smile type face that she has on the picture. And now I'm adding some... Uh, number one concealer on my tip of my nose to apply that glitter and after I've applied the glitter I am lining my nose into another sunflower and after that I'm just going to be applying the color to it which I'm doing now here goes the green and mascara I think we're almost done guys Thanks so much for sticking through it. If you watched the whole video, I truly appreciate it. And this is the finished look. And I gotta admit, I'll post another video of me washing my face. <laughs> or if you have me on Facebook, see it. But oh my gosh, that glitter was everywhere. Thanks so much. Do the whole YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, click the bell button to get notified. Thanks for watching. Bye!